This is a state of emergency. You're a caboose, hey lady. You make it my head. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone. California tonight with a dubious distinction, now home to the most coronavirus cases in the country. But the reality is records and benchmarks are falling almost daily across many parts of the country. Anthem doubling down overnight. I'll continue to sit. I'm going to continue to stand with the people that are being oppressed. When there's significant change and I feel like that flag represents what it's supposed to represent, I'll stand. Telling the NFL Network, I'm not going to stand up and show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. I have experienced this. People close to me have experienced this. So it's something that needs to be addressed. People are dying in vain because this country isn't holding their end of the bargain up as far as, you know, giving freedom and justice and liberty to everybody. drinks with our blood because you see so many of our ancestors was killed because we have never accepted slavery we had to live on it but we've never wanted it so we know that this flag is drinks with our blood so what the young people are saying now give us a chance to be young men respected as a man as we know, this country was built on the black backs of black people across this country. From Brazil to Iran, thousands have gathered to show solidarity with U.S. protests over the killing of George Floyd. He died after a Minneapolis cop kneeled on his neck for nearly nine minutes. The worldwide events echoed peaceful messages in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Iranians held a small demonstration outside the Swiss embassy. Two Syrian artists painted a mural in memory of Floyd in war-torn Idlib. Demonstrators marched through the city and around the U.S. embassy, defying the U.K.'s coronavirus restrictions that prohibit mass gatherings. Protesters kneeled in unison, chanting, No justice, no peace, in Trafalgar Square. I heard some folks up there saying, No justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. And if we don't get no justice, there ain't gonna be no damn peace. That's the bottom line. Let me just start off by saying to you that black people are in a state of an emergency. Black folks in America and those who support us need to understand the depth of the state of emergency. And it didn't just start today, but it is at a critical point. We are at a point when folks grandmothers all the way down to little babies are tired mm -hmm. people realize that this attack that we're under i heard someone saying on tv today that it feels like every black person in america is being hunted that's, right. that's how we feel mm -hmm. and so that state of marriage emergency is causing all types of things mm -hmm. but out of the white house mm -hmm. last night we heard mm -hmm. the president of the united states say that when the looting starts, the shooting starts, right. okay. which we know is a reference to another racist time mm -hmm. in the history of America where police abused right. our people. That same president, he is the same man that in 2018, at one of his speeches, Donald Trump said that he is a nationalist. Yes, and this is important for people to understand what we're dealing with here so that you know when we say a state of emergency what we mean he is a nationalist and if you understand the history of white nationalism in america to have the president say that we were in a state of emergency at that moment mm -hmm. he also went on at another press conference or another event to say to police officers, don't be so nice when you arrest them. Mm. Y'all got to remember mm. the history of the man who was in the White House. Mm. He said, don't be so nice to them. 
Beat, hit him in the head when you put him in the car. Right. These were his words as the president of the United States. This is not an isolated situation. Right. Right. These instances are not isolated. What is happening in America is that white nationalism ideology is running wild. Right. And the reason why buildings are burning is because this city, this state, would prefer preserving that white nationalism and that white supremacist mindset mm -hmm. over arresting, charging, and helping to convict mm -hmm. four officers who killed the black man. Mm -hmm. That is the reality of what we're dealing with. Right. This is not just a few cops doing things right. across the country. Mm -hmm. This is not a good cop versus bad cop situation. This is Ahmaud Arbery being shot down by white men on the streets of Georgia. Mm -hmm. Breonna Taylor being killed in her home. Mm -hmm. This is in New York City where we were until freedom. We were just in New York fighting the police officers who in the name of social distancing were damn near killing black young people on our streets. Mm -hmm. This is a coordinated activity happening right. across this nation. Mm -hmm. And so we are in a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. Black people are dying mm -hmm. in a state of emergency. We cannot look at this as an isolated incident. The reason why buildings are burning are not just for our brother George Floyd. We're, they're burning down because people here in Minnesota are saying to people in New York, to people in California, to people in Memphis, to people all across this nation, enough is enough. Yeah. And we are not responsible for the mental illness that has been inflicted upon our people by the American government, institutions, and those people who are in positions of power. I don't give a damn if they burn down Target. Because Target should be on the streets with us, calling for the justice that our yeah. people deserve. Talk about it, Tamika. Where was AutoZone at the time when Philando Castile was shot in a car, which is what they actually represent? Mm. Where were they? So if you are not coming to the people's defense, right. then don't challenge us when young people and other people who are frustrated and instigated by the people you pay, you are paying instigators to be among our people out yeah, there, yeah. throwing rocks, breaking windows, and burning down buildings. Right. And so young people are responding to that. They are enraged, and there's an easy way to stop it. Arrest the cops, charge the cops, charge all the cops, not just some of them, not just here in Minneapolis, charge them in every city across America where our people are being murdered, charge them everywhere. That's the bottom line, charge the cops, do your job. Do what you say this country is supposed to be about, the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people, and we are tired. Don't talk to us about looting. Y'all are the looters. America has looted black people. America looted the Native Americans when they first came here. So looting is what you do. We learned it from you. We learned violence from you. We learned violence from you. The violence was what we learned from you. So if you want us to do better, then damn it, you do better. Dancing with friends. Girl, let me wipe your eyes. Everything on me, all right. Singing her favorite songs. Buying her dream car. She loved life. She loved to be around friends and family. She just, she had it figured out. This is Brianna Taylor. Etched in her family's memories. She was the closest thing to me. She was like my sister, my best friend, my cousin, all in one. 26 and full of life. A dedicated EMT with dreams of becoming a nurse. A helper, always there to lend a hand. She was destined for greatness. I hate she had to go through this to prove it. Who am I? I am the daughter of kings and pharaohs. I am the vibe that is the pulse of the soul. That energizes your genius with the rhythmic pulse that activates your mind. I am pieces of all the places I have seen. And the ancestors that have dreamed of me. 
I am made from all the people that have encountered me. I am the passport to my future. Dripping in melanin honey, I am black without any apology. I am the history that did not begin in chains. I am the voice of ideas that stand with purpose and confidence. Fearless in my power, while speaking like Frederick, leading like Harriet, thinking like Garvey, writing like Maya, and dreaming like Martin. Standing like Angela Davis, along with my Igbo tribe. While the real revolution of consciousness is now the evolution of my time.